Good morning. Good morning. All right. We everybody yeah. woke up. Just making sure you have the coffee outside. That's right. The pastries. That's right. We want to keep the yes. energy high in here today. My name is Adam Carnow, and I'm with Esri. And my name is Harry Moore. I'm also with Esri. I've been with Esri for nine years. All right, cool. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Um, you know, as GIS professionals, you guys are a very diverse group. You do lots of different things, whether it's data management or spatial analysis or deploying apps for other people in your, in your um, organization or for doing any or all of those things. And what we want to make sure we do today is we have something that everybody here can take away and take back to work and apply right away um, to help make your work better and more effective. So we're going to hit on lots of different things today, but we have intentionally tried to run a gamut so that everybody here has some good takeaways uh, before they go home or back to the, back to the office. Um, some more logistics. We're going to have a break right around 10 o'clock, um, maybe a little bit afterwards if we're running a little late on the, on the, uh, on the presentation. And we'll break for probably about a half an hour, and then we'll finish the second half up until noon. We also wanted to make sure that um, we didn't only show the latest version of ArcGIS 10.5, that there's something for anybody to take back and use right away, that you don't have to wait until you um, migrate to 10.5, which hopefully won't be too long. So everything you're going to see before the break, you can do right now. But everything after the break will be 10.5. And we'll go out of our way to tell you exactly what you need to, to do what we're showing you. Okay. So there's three main takeaways for today's uh, seminar. Number one is we're going to show off the power of ArcGIS. And again, in the second half, power of ArcGIS 10.5. Um, the second thing is we're going to talk about pairing of apps to support common workflows. A lot of you know we have a lot of apps out there for you to uh, use and deploy um, throughout your organization. But a lot of people like if there's a field workflow deploy like Just Collector. We have a lot more um, apps that are fully integrated with the platform that can support more than just the collection of data with that field workflow. So there's other parts of that workflow, and these apps can be seamlessly integrated without writing a line of code. So we want you to start to think about when you deploy one app, think about if there's two, three, or four apps that can be all integrated together that would help even more. So we're going to show you that and, and how to do that. And then lastly, of course, GIS was created to perform spatial analysis. And if you talk about unlocking the value of ArcGIS, it's really through spatial analysis. So the more spatial analysis you're doing, uh, the more value you're going to get out of your investment. So um, the second half is all de devoted to spatial analysis, and that'll be showing the new spatial analysis capabilities available in 10.5. So before we get started, Jack Dangerman couldn't be here today, but uh, we've got a video of Jack, and he'd like to set the context for today's seminar. Hi, my name is Jack Dangerman, and I want to welcome all of you to this fall seminar series. Uh, from my perspective, this is one of the most exciting software releases that we've ever had. I'm, I'm referring here to ArcGIS 10.5. In some ways, we've been working on it for about 10 years. And in, in other ways, you might say this is the maturing release. It sort of brings everything together conceptually that we've been working on for a long time. This release expresses the completion of transforming GIS and ArcGIS into a totally services-oriented platform. So it's not simply client-server anymore, although that certainly continues to work, but transforming the bottom end into a services platform and moving it so that apps are the access point to these services. And this has huge implications. It means that we can continue to do what GIS people have always done, transactions on land records or on facilities or on forest. But at the same time, it allows us to have access to the data through this abstracted form of web layers and web maps and web scenes. This abstraction layer allows us to transform the data into views, you might think of it, that can be accessed through any device, anytime, anywhere. That's really very exciting because it means that GIS can spread across uh, entire organizations. There's lots in this release that you're going to see this morning in the form of various demos and educational materials. Pro matures to do almost everything that ArcMap does, except it's in the 64-bit environment. It's uh, 2D and 3D. It has literally dozens and dozens of new capabilities and also supports virtually all of the things that people do in ArcMap. Pro is also services-oriented, 
so it not only ingests services and allows them to be mashed up and analyzed in various ways, but it also is the authoring platform for creating services. I simply basically right click and send the data that I'm working on, my map, my visualization, over to the server or to ArcGIS Online for that matter, and it transforms it into a service. And that's really very exciting. Then there's uh, changes that are happening in the form of, of new capabilities on the server side. Here, big data is supported. A richer real-time data environment is supported. The introduction of a new server name called ArcGIS Enterprise. So we're moving from the name of ArcGIS Server to the idea of it's ArcGIS Enterprise. And why are we changing that day? Because the server architecture fundamentally under the covers here has been refactored so that it can be scaled out enormously with not only many, many users, but also scaled out so that I can have multiple user sessions going on, uh, like almost infinitely, doing different sorts of things. Many, many more capabilities you're going to find out about orthophotos, uh, and richer analytics, more interesting things. So, for, as you can probably tell, for me, this is one of the, the, biggest, the biggest releases of ESRI ever and promises to support you in, in growing. So, listen up very carefully during the next few hours. Um, fasten your seat belts because it's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you. So, like Jack mentioned, ArcGIS is a complete GIS platform. It is services oriented. So, at the bottom here, we've got the servers, the cloud, the open systems uh, producing those services, and then we've got them consumed through the apps. And if we talk about unlocking the value of ArcGIS, we do that through deploying apps. So, we all know the benefits of using GIS, uh, doing spatial analysis, making better decisions. Obviously, the more people we have using GIS directly via these apps that work on any device anywhere at any time, the more benefits and value you're going to unlock in your, in your ArcGIS. So whether those apps are desktop apps, browser-based apps, or on any device, again, you're going to see a lot of different apps today. And so we want to get across how easy it is to deploy these apps and how you should be doing that across your organizations.